Okay, so this is video two. So you should already have a party under your open parties. And if you don't, then you need to go back and you need to watch the video one. So for this video, I'm gonna show you how to place an order. There are two ways to place an order. One is by direct shipping all orders. And the other is by shipping all orders to the host where the host needs to actually distribute the orders. During COVID, obviously, we want to try to direct ship as much as we can. And during this period of time, you have 60 days for this back office suite for a free trial where you can direct ship. After the 60 days, it's $11 a month to be able to direct ship. If you don't choose to do that, which you do not have to, all orders will be shipped to you and you will have to deliver them. So for right now, everybody who's new has the ability to direct ship. So that's how I'm gonna show you how to place your order. So what you do is you go up to my order, create a new order, oops, and then go over to customer order. So here is where you're gonna to start to place your order and it is important, you're gonna click this add to party. And here is where you're gonna put your host. So whether it's Sally's party, whether you want this to go on your open party, whatever your, um, whoever is benefiting from this order is who you would put here. So I'm gonna put in fun because that was the party that I just created with you guys in video one. If you forget this step, then your host does not get credit for this order. So it's really important to always remember to add your order to a party. So then down here is where you're going to put in the customer information. So whoever's order this is, we're putting in their information. So I'm just gonna put in myself and I'm gonna go, then you would click next and it's going to ask you to verify the address. It will ask you that every single time, no matter how many times this person orders from you. And you just click yes. This is the ordering screen. And as you notice, we're just moving our way across these gray arrows. Here is where you would put in whatever item it is that your customer wants. So I'm gonna just click on laundry detergent. Here, you would put in how many it is you're looking for, and then you click add. And then when you scroll down, the item is added to the order and you now have a total. One more feature I just wanna show you because we're not having host parties and we can't hand our, gu our guest a catalog. For $1, you can actually add a French or an English catalog to their order that will show up in the mail with their stuff. This is a great marketing tool, um, especially during this time, like I said, where we can't actually physically give them one. So this might be something you wanna consider just for a dollar. I always take it out of my commission, but I guess you could also ask your guest if they wanted a catalog. So the order comes to $40.18 if this is all that this customer wanted. So when you scroll down the page a little bit more, here it says, amount due to Norwex. So if this customer wants to give you an e-transfer of $40.18, you say, sure, no problem. You owe me $40.18. But then when it comes time to fill in your credit card information, because now you need to put this onto your credit card, you're actually only going to give Norwex $30.73, which means so you have already got your commission from this order in your pocket. So over here, you can just highlight the total and take it out and change the total to what is owed to Norwex. If this person wants to pay with a credit card, you are going to keep this total at the $40.18 and Norwex will pay you later on payday. 
So again, if it's a e-transfer, they pay you this in e-transfer, but you change your credit card to this price where you would already get your commission left over in your account. So to get to the next screen, I am just going to put in my visa information here. And then I am going to, I'm just trying not to flash, flash it all over the screen. Um, then I'm just gonna say add, and it's gonna take me to the next screen. Okay, so here we can see, oh, let me go back up. Here we can see it says, your payment was successfully applied. And again, I'm in the next arrow over. Um, yeah, so then we want to review our order by hitting the next gray arrow. And this is your last chance to just check that order. Make sure you didn't forget to add anything because you can go back at this point. Um, we're just doing the detergent. And here where it says customer balance owing, that's just because she paid an e-transfer and I changed my amount owing to Norwex. So that's fine, you just wanna ignore that. That's the commission that you made that's going into your account. So at this point, your order is actually not complete. Your order will not be placed until you actually hit submit. And it's telling you here that you need to hit submit. If you ended your order here, even though it said that your payment was successful, this order is actually not placed and will not ship to your customer. <clears throat> you must hit submit at the end of every order. And if you do not, the order will not go through. Obviously, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to order this detergent, but you would. And then if you go back to your dashboard, after you place your order, your sub A total will now change at your party. That sub A total is the total before tax and shipping. And that is what your $2,000 is based on before tax and shipping. Also your commission is based off before tax and shipping. So you're making money off of sub A. And then that will be there now. So guys, that is how you place an order for direct ship. You just follow along with the instructions. It's a very simple website to use. You're gonna say create order, customer order, and remember to always add it to your party. And then just work your way across the gray little arrows. Obviously you can ask me questions if you need to for placing an order. But I thought it might be just easier for some people just to actually have a video that they can walk through, pause, and follow along with. So hopefully this was helpful, and I'll try and make some more videos to show you guys how to use other features on your website. Happy selling!